So, I know I said I'm trying to stay away from a tutorial style videos, but I stumbled on this formula and thought that I'd share it for all the good folk out there that don't have an airbrush. This is a simple and I think effective way to get an easy and believable space effect with only a few paints, some brushes. First, reference material. Go and Google space nebulas and you'll have a plethora of material. Second, grab some paints of course. If you look at the images, you can see, you know, ignoring the black of space, you have blues and purples and yellows and pinks mostly. And the actual paint doesn't matter for this, just something that's nice and saturated. I went with some mid-tones, kind of true tone range, and I happen to have Xerius Purple, Thousand Suns Blue, and Heavy Ochre. And I skipped the pink for some reason, but it still came out alright. Oh yeah, and you want white for the stars. Also grabbed a uh, dark blue. I used a contrast paint, Leviadon blue. Uh, and this is just gonna be like a real thin uh, glaze over the top. So start off with applying the purple, uh, the blue, and the yellow in random splotches across the mini. Don't worry, this doesn't have to be perfect. Just kind of flow, leave some open spaces for the other colors occasionally connecting the splotches together. And then, after I went through all that, I added some touch of ice yellow to the blue and the purple, uh, going over the existing colors in smaller blobs. And then, I just added progressive glazes of the Leviadon blue. I, I like using the contrast for this, especially on these uh, lizard men because it flows into the cracks really well. But, you know, I, I pour, poured it onto my wet palette, thinned it down even more so it was just a real nice thin glaze and just kind of repeated the process over and over until I was pretty happy with it. And once I got it to the point where I thought I liked it, I just kind of blobbed it into specific places to get that darker tone and in, in different spots, you know, where, where some blue was already there. So you got kind of that space feel with it as well. And I would go in occasionally and, and add some highlights of the existing colors underneath if I, if I felt like I got it too dark. But this was just a, a bit of back and forth, not a ton. This was actually a pretty quick process. And then at the end, I just got some straight up uh, matte white. I actually used uh, Matisse Bold Titanium White on this and thinned it down pretty well. Got an old brush, something that would hold a good amount of paint, and then just flicked it on and let it splatter, you know, season to taste. Maybe you want a lot of stars, maybe you don't. I did a pretty good chunk. And then after I had gotten all that to get some kind of larger ones or uh, some brighter, you know, kind of twinkling stars, I just kind of came in with a brush and pulled and actually drew some some brighter ones. And that's it. That's, that's all it is to the effect. And then, you know, of course I painted the rest of the mini, but I just wanted to show this and, and I know I haven't put out a lot of videos on here recently, but I am now over on Twitch. So if you want to come and watch me stream, I'm just Ninetail Hobbies, all one word over there. I'm painting a ton of stuff, and whenever I think I've got something good enough, I'll put a video up on here, but that's the reason why you see my icon down in the bottom, so that's going to be kind of the, the new looking format. Yeah, so I'll catch you on the next one.